lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, hello, for those who do not know who I am, my name is Andrew Chu, and I am currently a collegiate at UCR, who just finished my second year. I would like to first and foremost thank God for carrying me through these three years of salvation. I would like to thank all of you guys for coming, especially those who have driven uh, from SoCal to here, so it really means a lot. Uh, and just thank you for coming here to witness this special moment in my life. Okay, uh, I did not grow up in a Christian household. I grew up as an only child in a results-oriented environment. In high school, getting the perfect 4.0 was all that mattered to me because it was a way for me to measure my success, joy, and a way to compare myself with others. Throughout my first two years in high school, I had a prideful and selfish attitude towards achieving my goals, success, and doing it all on my own. This had led me to purposely avoid anything socially related. The times that I was given an opportunity to meet people and build relationships, I would immediately turn away because I also lacked confidence in myself. My grades were placed as my identity, which has caused me to be only joyful and happy when I got the grades I wanted. But I didn't get the grades I wanted, and this pushed me to be discouraged and very disappointed in myself. I definitely grew lazy throughout those two years and did not take any responsibilities seriously. I had a lot of questions going through my head, such as, who am I? Or is there something more important than grades, school, and finding a job? Well, those questions were finally answered in my junior year of high school. A friend of mine named Amanda Gunn has shared the gospel with me multiple times that year. I initially did not accept it because I was fearful of how I would be transformed by this gospel, thinking that I would lose my friends and be ridiculed. She later brought me out to this church, FBC, to one of the high school fellowship nights. I immediately was caught off guard by the singing and worshiping to God. But I noticed that there were students my age and those who were much younger than me. I saw their love for the Lord that night and got them to learn about how God has been transforming and maturing them. It was evidence of God's works all around them. That night when I got back home, I reflected on the gospel. I reflected on how powerful it is in transforming lives and revealing God's great love. That night, I accepted that a holy God sent his one and only Son, named Jesus Christ, to die for my sins. Sins are anything that displeases God through our actions, the things we say, and the things we think of. In the Bible, the book of Romans 6.23 says, The wages of sin is death but the free gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. I realize that I am a sinner, someone who is broken and in need of a Savior. God sent His Son, Jesus, who lived a perfect life and chose to die for my sins. After He died on the cross, three days later, He rose and conquered death. By believing in Jesus Christ, I can confess my sins to God so that I can be forgiven and have a relationship with Him. In Romans 3, 24, it says, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by His grace as a gift, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. It was not by my works that I am saved, but through God's grace and mercy. As a Christian, God has given me many promises. Promises of being a child of God whose sins are forgiven, a sinner who has been given eternal life at heaven, and a servant of a faithful Lord. That night, after accepting this gospel as truth, there was a new change that was put into my heart, which is to live life for this loving and holy God. Fast forward to my freshman and sophomore years at college. God has blessed me with many loving people and great role models. The upperclassmen in my Asian American Christian Fellowship and the men at Cornerstone Fellowship Bible Church have been influential in helping me mature. These men who are grounded in faith 
have challenged me to be more serious towards my spiritual walk and my relationship with the Lord, with Amanda, and with everyone else. I was able to finally take my responsibilities and priorities more seriously by putting church and fellowship as necessities for each week as well as being disciplined in my schoolwork. Throughout my sophomore year, God was able to use me in opportunities of being a leader and serving the freshman class and be a part of small groups. I was able to learn to love all, build genuine relationships and serve others. I was no longer only thinking about my own personal needs, but rather the opposite. I thought more of God and how he can use me to give my time, love, and energy to my fellow brothers, sisters, my parents, and to strangers. In 1 John 4, 17, it says, as Christians, we love because God first loved us. As I look back throughout these two years of college, I now understand why God has placed me at UC Riverside. His plans and timings are perfect in teaching me to be more like Jesus Christ and using me to encourage others. God revealed to me to love him for who he is rather than what he gives me. Never have I ever been this joyful, but of course, this Christian walk has also been hard. In the midst of my sufferings, God has shown me that he is a good God, and his love will forever be there. Through God's grace, he works in mysterious ways in transforming lives. These past three years as a believer have been the greatest time of my life, and have been the most transformative, and God deserves the credit. I would like to conclude this testimony with these verses. Isaiah 40, 28-31 says, Do you not know? Have you not heard? The Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. Even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagles. They will run and not go weary. They will walk and not be faint. And I just would like to thank you guys for coming and I really appreciate those who have taken hours to drive here and it really means a lot to me for you guys to witness this special moment in my life. Thank you.